Hello, hypothetical viewers, and welcome back to Shining Force Final Conflict. It's been many months since I recorded this, so I don't totally remember what's going on, but worry not. Uh, I do remember that since the last recording, I did go and level grind everyone so that they could be promoted, so we now have everybody in their promoted class. Just looking at all of our lovely stats here. They're, they're a little varying in level, because some of them were harder to get up to the next level than others. Uh, some of them really were not doing a lot of damage, so it took ages to actually get enemies to range where they could kill. <coughs> um, so yeah, our main character's doing fine. <laughs> Sithy is already at level 22 in her promoted class. Uh, <laughs> she's She has aura 4 now. She has a better MP. It's sad that she had to get to level 22 to have usable MP, but we're there. Uh, and as for what's going on here, we are confronting Aiku, the, uh, the, the guy who's slightly less of an asshole than the other villains <laughs> in his castle. Um, this was actually a pretty good map for level grinding, it, you know, because we can get to the enemies pretty quickly, and there's a couple that give more X, so it was not as bad as the previous one. You can see we have a a goodly assortment of mist demons, bow riders. The mist demons can cast uh, confusion, or no, they have blaze, I guess. They, maybe that was the old mist demon ones. And then we have our executor, I believe, was a new enemy for this map. We have the shaman, who tends to just mostly heal itself. Hydras. And we have some master mages with freeze too, who can do quite a bit of damage. And then here we have Aiku. He's actually the only enemy on this map that we haven't fought, because uh, obviously that would end the level. He has freeze 3, so he's going to be incredibly dangerous, and he's got a goodly amount of HP, so we'll see how this goes. Also, partway through the battle, some of these statues turn into gargoyles, but they're, like, not many of them do, so they give good X, so I kind of appreciate that, at least. Anyway, let's start moving up our forces. Uh, I'm going to move some of them to the other staircases, because the middle staircase, as you can see, only one tile wide, so I don't want them all to just get backed up in a line, and then, you know, not be able to get out for ages. Knuckles also very high level, both of the healers, you know, they tend to just naturally get lots and lots of X because they can be healing even when there's nothing to fight. <laughs> so every battle, you know, they're just building up. I was happy we were finally able to get Paige some levels because he's a little slow. So it was it was it was a challenge to actually get him to the fight before all the enemies were gone. Sonette also took ages, because uh, I think we don't have an upgraded weapon for her yet or something, like we haven't had an opportunity to buy one. She just was not dealing a lot of damage. Howl's, I gotta say, the, the upgrade map sprite for the wizard is like really cute. He looks really tiny for some reason. He's like a little gnome with a little hood. Some battles of the Master Mage. They do a lot of damage, I gotta say. There's actually a fair amount of enemies on this map that can hit pretty hard. I've, I've still never worked out whether archers do more damage to flying enemies in this game. I'm not really sure <laughs> compared to the others. That's a fire emblem thing, but it feels to me in every game like it should be the case. <laughs> but I don't really know. But these bow riders, when we were first level grinding and no one was promoted yet, they were pretty deadly and just like, you know, taking out half people's health. But now that we're promoted and leveled up, they are not as much of a threat. Steam and the casting animations of the Misty is actually pretty cool. It looks like it's like, I don't know, some sort of like cell that's ripping in half or something. It's kind of mysterious. Half term. Ah, man, I really meant to like, I have like two fully completed video sets for other Shining Force games at this point that I've been meaning to post and I just haven't gotten around to it, but I, on the plus side, since nobody watches my channel, no one is disappointed. I do occasionally get comments or views though. I got like an actual comment last month and I was truly shocked. I'm assuming it's a bot because I'm like, how the hell would any person have actually found this and why would they only have watched video like 15 of 30? That would be pretty strange. But I don't really know. Uh, let's, uh, not last four. Let's summon us up some magic just to show it off since Cynthia has enough MP to cast a couple spells now. And use Blast. It's okay. She actually does more damage just attacking. <laughs> like, she is level 22, right? She can actually hit surprisingly hard. She's an attack of 56. Our main character is an attack of 58, so, like, she's kind of dealing almost as much damage as he is. Now, obviously, he's much lower level. Like, she's a healer. She's not really meant to be your main attacker, but 
it's so easy to get her to a pretty high level when you're grinding everyone else because she can use her healing that, you know, <laughs> she's pretty useful. Ruberan upgraded to a ninja, so his sprite, as you can see, it has a ginormous shuriken on his back now. And he's in, like, a, you know, form-fitted, like, suit now. <laughs> his sprite does look very, you know, classic ninja-y look, but I feel like my one complaint with it is that I think his original sprite was actually a little more unique and, like, looked more like his specific character. You know, like, we could see his, like, ponytail and had, like, a cloak. And, you know, it looks a little more interesting. But it's certainly nicely sprited, you know, you can't complain about that. <laughs> it looks nice, it just doesn't look as specifically him. Kiddo, who is bigger now, he's no longer a tiny little baby bird, he's like a full-size adult bird, I guess. And we also uh, give the Valkyrie to Sylvia, if I remember right, so she's a tagging with that. Always good to have our paladins out there. Yeah, and actually, the map after this is very exciting, because that's where we'll find our first secret character, so... You know, we're, we're really getting into the, <laughs> the deeper mysteries of the game, or whatever. Not really, but... You know, let me actually check, because I've, I've forgotten, because it's literally been months since I leveled around everyone. Yeah, she has a Valkyrie. What has he got? Uh, a Power Spear, right, so they both have something that can attack at range now. I really like when we get the upgraded spears, because being able to attack at range is, is really nice, since... These maps can get a little cramped at times when we're trying to get a lot of people attacking the same enemy. Because, like, you can't really... Basically, the only way to beat the boss and things is to really just dogpile them, so having more people who can be at range lets us do that more effectively. Oh, I just... I hope Howell will eventually... Yeah, I don't really- I don't want to use up his magic yet, because these are just the beginning of the map enemies. He can just smack someone- look at his sprite, it's like the light bulb. He's wearing like a classic like cartoon wizard robe with little stars on it and like a little hood. It's- it's like- it, he's like a kid dressing up as a wizard for Halloween. It's incredibly adorable. <laughs> and yet he actually is a talented and deadly wizard. <laughs> just- it's fashion sense, you know, it's- when, I guess when you're that powerful of a wizard, you don't have to care whether other people think your fashion is- is silly or whatever, you do whatever the hell you want, and you cast Blaze 3 if anyone disagrees. <laughs> ah, it's... Yeah, so it's a nice, leisurely battle, I guess. <laughs> Sorry there's not a ton to say about it. When we get to Aiku, that will be more interesting, I guess, because, like, you know, that'll be new. We didn't fight him yet. Julia also upgraded to the, you know, bird warrior or whatever, bird battler, I don't remember, sky warrior, it's been different in different games. Um, she doesn't have as good of a weapon as Kiddo right now, because I, I have not been able to buy everyone upgraded weapons yet. Uh, I'm hoping the next map has a shop where we can kind of, you know, do that. Yeah, she has a long sword, but he has, oh, he actually does too, huh? I, you know, I thought that he had a different weapon, but... Maybe I was thinking of the past. Yeah, her attack is just really low for some reason. I don't know why they... They were just like, we'll give you two different bird characters, but one of them will just be worse in literally every stat for reasons. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's like, why would you do that? Someone got injured, and I'm trying to remember who... It, someone got, like, quite injured. I'm trying to remember who it was so I can prevent them from dying. It was Sunette, of course. Okay, yes. Uh, we're not close enough to actually do a lot there, so I thought this was going to be a smack this guy upside the head with a little stick. That's, that, you know, in the animation you can see the stick kind of glows a little when she attacks, so maybe it's like a magic attack. <laughs> She's punching you in the face with magic. I guess I, we're gonna get a couple more characters or secret characters, but I, this might be our end game party. Just you know, we leveled them all up. They're all kind of they're there. We like him. Okay, good. Now we can heal up Sonya or Sonette rather. She's like very fragile. She takes a lot of damage. So anytime I get her too close to the enemy groups, she's in danger. Maybe we're reading too aggressive here, we're kind of sending Kiddo right in the middle of everything. I've gotten Kiddo killed quite a lot of times by just... Just because it's like, oh, he's so mobile, I'll just send him out there. Um, so that would not be a new experience, but... Ugh, it's like, I, I just want to get on with it, you know? <laughs> this takes, this, when you 
fought a battle like dozens and dozens of times from level grinding, you you no longer want to like carefully plan your way through it. You're just like, oh, let's just finish it. <laughs> I've done it too many times. And I'm definitely at that point with this battle, even though it has been, I like I level grinded everyone up and I did all this stuff, and then I just lost track of it. It's been a hell of a year, right? Ah, well done, Mead. Loosen up our paladin. It's like a scythe dude. The executioner. It, it just is an attacker, though. It doesn't have any magic, so... The enemies with magic, I feel like, are the ones that... Or the ones that we've seen in certain other Shining Force games where they have an alternate special attack that does much more damage. Those are the ones that... Yeah, like this, for example, the Fiery Breath. Those tend to be more dangerous because they just do a lot. The physical attackers kind of drop off in, in danger they present after a while because our character's defenses can rise pretty quickly as we level them up. So, like, I, I really need to get a better weapon for her because she just doesn't do any damage for some reason. Like why? Do, it's not even like, you know. Oh, kiddo was like much harder to level, or like a secret character, or some weird shit like that. So he has to be better. He was in the party first. <laughs> like, why bother giving me two characters in the same class and one is just worse? Like markedly worse. He's like has like half as much attack. It's such a strange game design decision to me. The only way I can see it is like maybe the better character like you get them later so they don't have as much availability or they're more difficult, you know, something where it like is balanced out, but this is not that at all. It's just like, I don't know, they're just better, I guess. And I'm like, but then why would you give me the worst one? <laughs> I still like having multiple flying characters because I really love the mobility and I also just think they're very cool. I just like the bird people a lot. So I think she's going to stay in the party unless we get additional bird people, but Man, oh man, is it strange to me that they just like, didn't bother making the stats a little more competitive <laughs> between these two characters. It also makes it harder to keep the crappier characters up on to par in terms of levels, because it, the problem you start to run into is that if the character does more damage, it's much easier for them to actually get the kill. The character's doing so little damage, it's like you have to carefully weaken enemies to get the kill, and then maybe the turn doesn't come up, and it's like, well, you know, we gotta move on eventually, especially if the, the enemy is doing a lot of damage while you're trying to stall. You know, it's, it's it gets, like, frustrating to do, and so you don't want to use them as much. And then, like, because they're falling behind a level, they get even worse compared to the others, so it becomes a vicious cycle. Alright, yeah, I want to just make sure we finished off the Shaman, because otherwise they just keep healing themselves forever, and like, is it dangerous to us? No. Is it annoying? Yeah, absolutely yes. Uh-oh, this is dangerous. Whoa. Pretty safe, pretty strong. Wow, Haiku is weird looking. It's like a mysterious, like, creature. I'm not even sure what kind of entity he's supposed to be. I could not totally- because it seemed like he had like a tail that was almost like a monkey tail, but he's like a lizardy dude. I, he mostly just looks like Ganondorf, honestly, to me. Like, in the, some of the older Zelda's where he's blue for some reason. Now it's time for you to experience the true terror of this fortress. Awaken stone statues. To be honest, Taiku, the true terror of the fortress is you. You're the most powerful enemy here. These statue guys? Not that impressive. They're just not. <laughs> They're not that big of a deal. Does it have range? It does. Okay, good. Then let's heal up Mead. We don't want our one of our trusty paladins to die. They're actually both useful. Both of the paladins like are, are handy to have around. So I'm like, why did they make the bird people so not comparable to each other? And we're just gonna move right up here and try to kind of speed through. We're gonna have to want to kill that shaman first, because otherwise he's just gonna keep healing the boss. That's gonna suck. Um, get kiddo a little closer and... I guess Knuckles can just stay here and beat up this gargoyle, why not? It's pretty far from the main action. Cynthia's handling the healing right now, should be fine. I'm gonna have her- actually, you know what, the execution will not be hard to kill. I'm gonna have her attack the shaman, so we can try to just get rid of him ASAP before he starts healing other enemies, which would suck. And everyone else just keep moving on. Eh, let's have uh, Minskin. Yeah, she's not- oops, I, I was gonna have her attack, but whatever, I accidentally did not click it correctly. <laughs> I went to go back and just had her wait. Oh, let's have Eve finish off the Executioner. Good, good, we're making 
great progress through this level. It's only been like 15 minutes, actually. Yeah, he's, he's obviously gonna attack the main character. Like, look at him, he's got like a tail. It's almost like a rat tail. He's got horns, he's got gold claw feet. He's very mysterious. I, I don't know what he is. His arms seem like really, he almost has the proportions of like some, like a great ape or something where his arms are like, like very long, you know, as opposed to like the humanoids where their arms are like, and legs are different length. We can see that as usual, Sunette in her upgrade class, tip as typical for the archers, she has like some kind of gun instead of a bow. <laughs> they always upgrade to like these very futuristic weapons. It's, it's, I like it, but it's also baffling. <laughs> I do love like the weird sci-fi fantasy fusion that like shining for it's just always like a a pile of just random shit and i really do like that about it um i guess julia can just go fight this gargoyle she's not that close to the main action she doesn't do that much damage so ah uh, gotta get a better weapon for her yeah these gargoyles were key to our leveling strategy because um a lot of the other enemies stopped actually giving particularly good experience after a while, but the gargoyles uh, killing them actually gave a nice charm, so... <laughs> Go keeping- waiting around in the battle until they appeared was a lot of what we were up to. And you can- Aura 4, if I, well, that's one that heals like everyone. So, nice to have it in case we have a battle later where we get into some kind of crazy, you know, multi-enemy battle. Attacking Aiku, who has a buttload of HP. Oh my goodness, the 80 HP, that's a lot. Oh, if your characters are not like really leveled up the way ours are, this would be quite tough. Fortunately, my patience for level grinding will now be rewarded. Alrighty. I do, I actually, I do like this as a level. I think it's, you know, it's nothing like super fancy, but as maps go, you know, you kind of it has a nice progression of fighting the initial pool of enemies, then you go on to the ones that are up here, and then it's like, surprise, more enemies behind you, and you fight the boss. You know, it's, it has enough going on to not be boring. And it doesn't have enough, like, bottlenecks and, like, bad terrain and stuff that it's annoying. It's like, yeah, it's fine. It's not one of the best levels in the game or anything, but it's fun. And it didn't take that long now that we've ridiculously level grinded everyone. Well done, Sylvia. <laughs> you got the K over the boss. Got some gold. These fools, they can't have defeated me. The great Aiku. You weren't that great, honestly. It's cool that you have, like, physical attack and freeze three, so you've got a mix of stuff. But beyond that, there wasn't much to you. They really must be the legendary Shining Force. People with high character levels, anyway. I don't know if we had to be the Shining Force to beat you. This really can't be happening, but it's already too late for Max. Mistress Michelle, Gufu. <laughs> And with a final gufu, he was gone. Aiku, he was a fearsome enemy, but he started to say something about Master Max. What was he trying to tell us? He didn't start to say it, he was just like, it's already too late for Max. And we knew he was captured, so he's like, oh, they're gonna kill him. And I guess we have to go rescue him. And this doesn't bode well. No, it does not. Oh, is everybody safe? This is this old guy from before. That voice, could it be? Grandpa! Yeah, he's, he's from that first town we were in. Is it really you? I was worried this would never end. Cynthia. It's great that we've been reunited. Moreover, it's good that our elder is safe. I have been confined in this fortress. Oh yeah, this is taking me back now. I forgot about this. He was kidnapped and we set out not to, Max we were following Max because he was chasing Michelle but we didn't know he was in trouble at first we were trying to rescue this guy oh well that's nice we succeeded at something I've been confined I, I also don't remember what voice I did for this guy I apologize it was I, he was in like episode two and never again so he's getting a vaguely he's getting the wizard voice from trying course two I've been confined in this fortress I saw a young man with his eyes closed defeat the guard soldier helping me escape Oh, the man with his eyes closed must be... We know who this is, because he's a character who was in Shining Force 2. It's Odd Eye, a.k.a. Oddler. He always had his eyes closed. <laughs> he was like Brock from Pokemon. A young man with closed eyes. Who could it be? So Oddler is like old as fuck. I guess, I don't know, maybe the Devil's Army or whatever are mortal. Because there's a bit of a gap in time between this game and Shining Force 2, I think. 
Could there be someone else confronting the Devil Army besides us? But he's part of the Devil Army, I thought. And maybe this is the backstory which will explain him. Companions, the shrine. There's no time to lose. We must go. If we don't hurry, the survivors of the Devil Army will break down the support pillars of this fortress. The fortress is collapsing. I think we have a problem. So it seems like they already broke down the pillars and it's collapsing. Also, I think we have a problem. It's like the biggest understatement of all time. A building is falling on your head. Indeed, then make haste. Luckily, we can just escape through this door and we'll be fine. <laughs> and now we're in the desert, which is a map where we'll meet a secret character. And which is apparently full of I, dwarves? I think these might be dwarves. They look like it anyway. Tiny gnomes. And there's Michela. You dwarves. Yes, they are dwarves. I was right. Hurry up. Slaves have no right to take a break. Oh, yeah, because this must be... We, because this is like pre Shining Force 2, but we're in the continent where Shining Force 2 was. So we're in the area where Grand's Island will eventually be, and where like Grand Seal will be. And that is where the dwarf village was in that game. There was like a secret village full of dwarves, and you could like have your mithril turn to weapons. So these must be the dwarves. This is like the backstory of them. And I guess it was a desert at the time. Your Eminence, we've received word that the enemy has escaped Aiku's, Aiku's fortress and will be arriving here before long. I'm sorry to say that they were not crushed beneath the crumbling fortress. So they're already on their way here. This means Aiku must have performed pitifully. It wasn't his best performance, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> we we overleveled a lot, he couldn't keep up. Well, the preparations here are almost finished. It seems we should be able to do this. But that is actually less grandiose than a lot of villain speeches are. It's not like, ha, they have no chance. It's just like, yeah, we should be able to do this, I guess. <laughs> Ben's surprise appearance may be a good opportunity for us. There does seem to be some mysterious backstory about Ben that we haven't learned yet, that like Max knew about, so presumably we'll find that out eventually. Ben, we escaped the collapse of the fortress by a hair's breadth, didn't we? I guess. <laughs> uh, of course, the Devil Army are waiting for us here, too. It is a tactics game, so every level has to have a fight. <laughs> That's how it is. It also seems like they've caught some dwarves or slaves, eh? <laughs> You're very chill about this, uh, <laughs> robot buddy. For some reason, these young, weak dwarves are being used in this valley. Wow, rude, Elder. <laughs> also, are they young? They have white beards. Maybe this just their natural hair color. It's not from old age. What are they doing? I don't know, but I think we should be cautious in crossing this valley. Ooh, so is this going to be the standard Shining Force level where there's, like, an enemy that shoots out lasers or whatever? It's like traps? Ah, over there. It's Michela. Ben, now is your chance to defeat Michela for sure. But it's not even the end of the game. Surely she'll be the final boss. Okay, so this battle will be in the next level, but for now let's take a look. So we have some fun, unique tiles. That's, that's cool. We're in the desert. There's, like, cactuses. So apparently, I, this type of, like, big saguaro cactus, I I think this is what it is. I mostly associate with, like, the, the United States, like, out west and the deserts there. So I'm like, I guess we're in, like, Death Valley? <laughs> That's where Grand's Island is. Uh, we have more gargoyles. I guess they're now a standard enemy, not a surprise enemy. Still fighting the executioners. Ooh, treasure chest. We'll have to get that. And, uh, let's see, we've got Master Major Priest 2 still. This looks new, the Stone Golem. So I guess that'll be like a slow but powerful enemy. You know, as one, as one does. And then down here at the bottom, we have a bunch of new enemies. We have the High Priest with Heal 4 and Blast. So they'll be able to top off our enemies. And the Brass Gunner. And then we have Michelle with the Mystery Staff and Bolt 2. Damn, she has a ton of HP. I mean, I'm sort of assuming this is gonna turn out to be like a fake Michela or like a doll or something. Cause wasn't she the one who like makes dolls that fight for her? So it'll be like a, a fake. Cause like this is not the last level in the game. I, if we defeat her now, who's the boss gonna be? Who knows though, maybe it'll be a surprise boss. But she has a lot of MP and a lot of HP, so that will be tough. Um And we were told like what were they working on, so I'm assuming there's gonna be some kind of like there's traps or something. Uh, and one of these cactuses we have to examine to find a secret character, so we'll see that next time. But it looks like basically it's going to be a map where we just have to kind of walk across this big area to the bottom, and some sort of nasty trap will occur here. Oh, we also have new enemy Harpy Queen, so a flying enemy. Um, and one chest, so we'll have to grab that on our way. 
So, no doubt there will be some tricks and twists to this map, but at first glance it looks straightforward. And we will meet a new friend, who I don't know if we'll add them to the party, I'll have to see. This, you know, I'm undecided. I could replace Minto, because I'm like, eh, a Minto and like the dragon guy we got, I'm like, meh. You know, I, she's at least useful because, like, magic. He's, like, too weak, basically. But magic is at least handy to have around. Free three bolt, too. Those are nice. But, uh, but I'm like, you know, she's a possibility. Most of our other casts, I'm like, oh, we've had them for ages. I can't drop them. Knuckles! Eh, if, if I decide we don't need a second healer, he's a maybe. But at the very least, we'll, uh, we'll see what the C character looks like, even if they don't join the party. But for now, uh, we've defeated Aiku, and now we're confronting Michelle in the desert. But it seems like she might have some tricks up her sleeve, so look forward to that battle in the next episode. Uh, and thank you for watching, hypothetical viewers. This has been Shining Force Final Conflict.